Hello and welcome to a new video. This one is a summary of a research paper about the dark tribe. So this video is based on the paper from um, some researchers from the University of British Columbia and it's called Shedding Light on the Dark Tribe of Personality, Narcissism, Machiavellism and Psychopathy. Without any further ado, let's just dive into it. So before we dive into the research findings, I would like to give you a quick overview of what the dark triad actually is. So the dark triad is a construct consisting of the three personality disorders that are psychopathy, narcissism, and machiavellism. In the next few slides, we just go quickly over the typical characteristics for each personality disorder. And we start with psychopathy. A typical psychopath is antisocial and manipulative. Um, psychopaths usually have a very grandiose sense of self and are very arrogant. Um, they can be totally callous and are usually unable to form strong emotional bonds with others. So basically this whole concept of emotional bonding um, through compassion is something they totally lack. Um, they also lack um, guilt and remorse. This is why they can do things without feeling bad afterwards or feeling guilty. Um, pretty often they also have a lack of anxiety or fear. Further, psychopaths are usually pathological liars. Um, they have a very short temperedness and are prone to delinquency and crime. So the next personality disorder you're going to look at is um, narcissism. And a narcissist is a typical impression manager. Um, they have a grandiose sense of self, which not always is a real thing, but this would go too deep at the moment. But yeah, this is what they display. Um, they can be very arrogant as well. Um, they have a, basically they are like, I'm the life of the party, so they have a, um, a very high grade of egocentricity um, and an excessive need for admiration combined with vanity. The last in this category is uh, Machiavellism. Basically, um, Machiavellists do have an urge for power. So they want to get in charge. They want to have power. And they get it usually with manipulation, exploitation, um, deception, antisocial behavior, um, impulsivity and detachment, as well as egoism. So all three personality disorders, Machiavellism, Narcissism and Psychopathy, together have um, formed the dark triad in the research. Let's go into the um, research paper from Paulus, Williams and Harms, shedding light on the dark triad of personality, narcissism, machiavellism and psychopathy. This research paper has found that there are different correlations between the dark triad and the big five, um, the five factor model. So basically the big five or the five factor model is um, the measure, measurement to measure normal personalities or the bright side of personality. Um, you can easily remember this if you go with the acronym of OCEAN. So we have openness or experience, narcissism, conscientiousness, extroversion and agreeableness. This paper has found um, different correlations between the three. Um, if you have a look at the ones I just um, circled for you, we can see that narcissists and psychopaths have a um, around like 0.4 correlation with extroversion so they are quite they appear quite outgoing um, they are like often surrounded by other people um, narcissists also do have the highest correlation for openness to new experiences so basically this real whole concept of like I'm life of the party I'm at the party I want to be seen I go out there etc uh, with Machiavellism, this is not so much the thing. Um, they obviously, they are not very, um, yeah, <laughs> into interacting with others. Well, also psychopathy, they are um, antisocial. So, I mean, obviously, um, most of the other ones are negatively correlated. Um, but psychopaths do have a high um, extroversion. Um, there is actually another, there is another study about the relationship between psychopathy and narcissism. I will do another video about this. Just to sum this up, um, so there are three positive correlations um, for 
extroversion with narcissism, extroversion with psychopathy, and openness in your experiences with extroversion. All of the other correlations have been found to be negative. If we look further, we can see that um, all three personality disorders have a negative correlation with agreeableness and conscientiousness. This does make total sense. If I am a person who has a grandiose sense of self, who thinks um, that they are just way better than everyone else, that they deserve to be treated better, um, that they deserve to be admired and need to be in charge and have power, they obviously um, do scale negatively on agreeableness. The same with conscientiousness. Another interesting finding from this research paper was the relationship between the dark triad and self-enhancement. The research has found that narcissists show the highest degree of self-enhancement, followed by psychopaths. They try to self-enhance, self-improve, and get better, learn, etc. Machiavellists have no significant um, self-enhancement in these findings. There is also um, intercorrelations within the dark triad. Um, if we have a look at um, this map, we can see that the highest intercorrelation of 0.5 positive is between narcissism and psychopathy, as mentioned earlier. Um, I will do another video about this particular research of um, relationship between psychopathy and narcissism. All three intercorrelations are positive. Um, the strongest one is, though, between narcissism and psychopathy. There is also one uh, between psychopathy and Machiavellism. It doesn't necessarily mean, though, that every psychopath is also a Machiavellist, etc. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you here soon again. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.